Video editing can be quite an involved process, particularly when you're trying to edit footage that perhaps wasn't captured in the best possible way. Anyway, over the coming months, I'm going to be sharing tips and tricks that I've used on videos that I've produced for some of my clients. Who are you? I'm a figment of your imagination. In that case, be gone with you. The power of video editing. Cue the music. Now in last month's video newsletter, I asked if anyone could spot a clip I constructed using two layers in the Automate video. And many of you said, well, it must be the clip with the phone in. Well, it wasn't because that actually is constructed using four video layers. And we'll be covering that in a future tip. But the clip I was alluding to was the clip with the bonnet up. So let's take a look at how we do that now. Now we're in Final Cut Pro and we're trying to produce this clip from two clips this one and this one. Now in this clip, I really liked the performance from Abby. She did a great job throughout the project. But what I didn't like was this bonnet. It really didn't look like a car. Whereas in this clip, as we can see the door mirror and the bonnet, it really does look like a car. So what we need to do is isolate the bonnet and the car in this clip and superimpose it on this clip and hopefully it doesn't look too strange. So the way we do that is by sending it to motion and using a mask. So let's do that. So we'll send it to motion, save it with the existing name. We're using motion four in this, but it's pretty much the same in motion five, but we are using Final Cut Pro seven, which is the reason why we are using motion four. Right, we'll make a bit of space, bring that down to 50%, select the clip and we use the Bezier mask. And we're now going to isolate the bonnet as carefully as possible. Now I'm going to do this a little bit quicker than I would normally do. However, if we were doing this for real, I would take a little bit more time over it but hopefully you'll get the gist of what I'm trying to do. Move that up a little bit. There, there, and there. We've got a strange thing going on just there, so let's pull that in. Now we'll just feather the edge just slightly by about minus five, and we save and quit motion and hopefully that should come back into Final Cut Pro and it does. So you can see we have transparency here and we have the car isolated. So we'll pick this up and put it on top of the other clip and you can see that they are essentially now one. The next thing we need to do is tone this down a little bit because it's slightly overexposed. So we now go into the effects and select color correction three way. Put that on top of the clip and bring the clip up in the viewer and just bring down the exposure slightly. And we should also bring down the saturation because it needs to be in black and white. Now in real life, if we'd filmed this, you probably wouldn't see this bonnet in focus like this. So we are just going to take it out of focus a little bit by using a Gaussian blur. And we'll look at the filters now and we'll bring this up to maybe five. That will do four or five. Okay. And now the last thing to do is to turn Abby into black and white. And we've already got 
the color corrector on that clip so we can just turn the saturation down and just brighten her up a little bit there we go and that is how we created this clip using two layers and a mask in motion if you like what you saw in this video and you'd like to learn more then please do click the subscribe button in addition if you'd like to receive a newsletter then please click the link below in the description thanks for watching see you next time Thank you.